Well, Paul, congratulations. 3-1 win away from home at Blackpool. How do you feel after that? Yeah, good. Uh, really pleased. Um, thanks to all the fans who kindly travelled and got behind the team. I hope they had a good night. Um, yeah, I, away from home, it's a different game. You don't have the ball as much, obviously. We asked the lads to do something out of possession, uh, which they're really good at. Uh, and some players have to sacrifice uh, themselves, their natural uh, desires, possibly. And they did that for the team, and that's what gets us the win. So I'm really pleased. I was really pleased how we defended. Defended crosses, not so pleased with the goal that went in. Um, and then I thought, like, first half, we had a couple of really good chances on the counter with uh, Kane could have had a brace, bless him, but I thought he was really good. And then second half, we asked him to do the same. Second half, just don't lose concentration because, like, Rhodes is excellent in the box if you, if, if you let him cross it. So try and stop the crosses, defend the crosses, but then when you get the ball back, if you pick the right pass, you are in. And fortunately for us, we scored really good counter attacking goals. and. Um, yeah, really pleasing end to the to the night. You said yesterday that you felt it was the toughest away game of the season so far. So I, I know you rounded up quite a few things there, but what did you feel that you did right to come away from this tough game with three points and three goals? I just thought everyone stuck to their task really well. Uh, the midfield three were excellent. T was excellent again, as was Corey, um, as was Birdie. Birdie had a, a different role to the other two. When asked upon, when the crosses came in, Nels, Cash, you know, uh, putting their uh, bodies on the line, really. Uh, Foz and Ryan were excellent as well, like Ryan, um, I'm seeing buzzing with him. So uh, just that part of the game I loved. Uh, and obviously scoring goals is what everyone comes to watch. But from a coach's point of view, it's about your shape out of possession, where everyone is. And we just frustrated them for their goalkeeper to kick, you know, long balls and us to deal with. So that part of the game, really pleased me there's obviously still things that we always want to constantly improve but uh, to come here on the the run they've been on as well I just think it's a really big win for us and and the lads can take a lot of credit from it um, because they have to they had to do a lot of ugly shifts tonight really um, but then they get the reward so that's what pleases us as a, as a as a team three cracking goals as well you must be really pleased with the quality of them yeah really good I mean uh, I knew Nat was hanging a little bit, you know, obviously we took Tom off uh, the weekend, uh, he tired a little bit, so we played Kane, but I was thinking oh, I might have to take Nat off in a minute because he's chugging, uh, and then he just managed to get in and pull it back to Corey, who called it sweet as, so that was uh, really pleased for Corey, I want him to get in the box, he's got great feet, as all the midfielders have, but we need everybody to chip in with goals, so... You know, after the chances we missed first half, for that to go in, and then you know Tom came on, had an instant impact. Brilliant, Tom was an absolute handful, so that's great, and that's what you want from your subs. You want your game changes to go on and have a real positive effect. And he laid it on a plate for Colo, and Colo hit it well. I don't know if it got deflected or anything, but sort of like took a weird. Did it go straight in? Oh, great. Um, but I was really pleased for him because, from our point of view, like from my point of view, that's probably the best I've seen him play for me because. He's out of possession stuff, how hard he worked, like tirelessly worked, give the lads a platform. He won a few headers, brought a few things down, brought people into play. So for him to score a goal was good. And then obviously for us to concede can make it a bit jittery the last 10, 15 minutes, but I felt all right, really. Uh, I'm not too sure everyone over there felt all right. And then uh, then we broke and we thought, like, we can't mess this up. Waggy picked Tom and I think, go on Tom, just take a touch and take the net off. And then he squared it. I'm like, no, yes. One of them, isn't it? Yeah. What you're doing, that's perfect. And then it's just one of them uh, magical footballing moments where you feel like you've won the game and you can feel all the benches up and it just felt great. And yeah, so three great goals, three great counter-attack goals. We had some other chances, but when called upon, the defenders defend. So that's what we pay them for. How much of a difference does it make when you've got the players that you've got on the bench tonight in terms of the depth of your squad now, with players coming back that you, I think you spoke countless times about, you probably want to get to like 60 odd minutes and, and change things around a yeah. little bit, that now you've got the ability to do that and you've got players that can come on and make an impact as well? Yeah, it makes a massive difference. Like Just having Birdie back in uh, helps. I mean, I know Connor's only trained a day and um, Callum's a couple of weeks away, Joe's a couple of weeks away, and they'll have to fight to get into the squad. I mean, stuff was bound to happen before then, that's how football is. But, uh, yeah, really pleasing that you've got six, and I said it to him in the dressing room before I come out, it's the strongest bench I think I've ever had in my career. So there's six really quality players that can have an effect. Sonny Bradley comes on, adds something to us straight away, and they're, they're all unlucky they're not in the team. Uh, but it's, you know, it's their job to get in the team, not my job to put them in it. So they have to keep performing in training and, and get in it. But... 
it's just good that you're not putting on no disrespect to 17 year old who's played two league games you're putting on like proper established footballers who can you know take us over the line and that's what they did tonight so yeah really pleasing on that no injuries no issues I don't I think Foz got a book in I don't think Cash did did he no not oh, to my knowledge no nope, so all good okay that's good so um, yeah so we can just have a you know rest get home late and then uh, go again uh, for the game of the weekend yeah and that moves on nicely to that you're five unbeaten now against Cheltenham at the weekend you just want to keep this good feeling going and, and try and go into the international break from a league perspective on a, on a really positive note if you can yeah yeah we do because unfortunately with the internationals we're going to end up with two three games more than other people we need to keep picking up points obviously I don't want the league table to look too ugly and we need wins and you know two away games if you can get four or six points from you you're, you're cooking um, and if we'd have got the points we definitely deserved at the weekend we'd be looking handsome but it's just about driving performances the performance at the weekend was excellent we played a different shape tonight a couple of changes made changes during the game performance was excellent again and we won hopefully we can get the same level of performance and with a little bit of lady luck when you have their moments you take them uh, we can win again but it'll be a tough game against you know a new management team in Cheltenham I'm well aware of that and how hard they'll fight for their new manager so it'll be a tough game but um, hopefully we can perform at a level that gives us an opportunity to win.